Ronan and Emma Lally own a small farm that they run alongside their day jobs. They have a lovely collection of animals, but wanted some ducks to complete the picture. So they got in some fertilized eggs. On the day they hatched, Ronan went to check on them, but couldn't find the ducklings in the barn. Within seconds of that, a cat jumped down from a pigeon hole within the shed over there. And uh, I kind of put one and one together, and I just presumed that the, the cat had swallowed up the ducklings. At this stage, they were missing for about six hours, so Ronan thought there was no hope at all. After searching around the farm, they eventually found the ducklings. But unfortunately, the cat, Della, had got there first. I ended up catching the cat with a duck in her mouth at this stage, and um, it really looked, Ronan was like, she's going to kill the duck. I was thinking, oh, no. Yeah. We're only after getting them back, and now she's going to eat them right in front of us. Then Emma noticed something unusual. I was like, Ronan, she's not actually forcefully holding this duck. That's when the amazing thing happened. We put the, the cat down, uh, put the ducklings down, and then all of a sudden the three little ducklings waddled straight underneath the cat. The cat lay down on her side, put her paw over one of the little ducklings and was kind of nursing the duckling in towards us. So we were, I mean, just absolutely mm. blown away with this. Because normally cats would eat little small birds, but it was, it, was, it, was just, it was awesome. It was just incredible to see it. She was um, very content at this stage. She was purring and she was really loving towards the ducklings. When I was petting her down, um, I noticed that she actually had given birth to three kittens only within an hour or so beforehand. It was a very lucky coincidence for the ducklings that the cat found them just after giving birth herself. For a narrow window of a couple of hours, mothering hormones will have been coursing through her body causing her to love and nurture any small, warm, furry creature she found next to her. I have no doubt whatsoever that the cat was thinking dinner if she had seen them either maybe a couple of hours before or a couple of hours after. I have no doubt that she would have put the napkin around her neck, knife and fork, salt and pepper, the whole lot. But it was when they came to move the unusual family into a safer spot that they got an even greater surprise. As soon as we lifted up the cat, uh, that's when we were totally amazed because the ducklings were actually latched on to the, to the cat's nipple, so... They were hanging from her. <laughs> yeah, it was very bizarre. When we seen them breastfeeding, we just thought, oh my God, yeah. there's something very, very strange happening here and something very strange and also something very unique, you know? Duck mums don't produce milk, and ducklings are born ready to find their own food and water from their surroundings. So to see them suckling a cat is extraordinary. Experts can only guess that their natural foraging instinct calls them to come upon the milk as an unexpected food source. And their desire for warmth and comfort kept them close to their foster mother. Ronan was keen to separate the ducks, fearful the cat's predatory instincts might kick back in. But Emma, being a midwife, recognized something that she regularly sees at work. There was just so much love there, you know, and like I see it every day in the labor ward. They just want to hold them babies so tight and close. It's a moment that just lasts forever. And I could see that happening with the cat and, and the ducks. It just took me a while to convince Ronan I says, Ron, they're just so in love. They're just, they love each other. Like, you can't break this bond. It's amazing. Before long, the ducklings started to outgrow the kittens and gain their independence, something the cat wasn't so happy with. These ducks, her yellow kittens, were a lot more active, and she found it hard to control them. She was trying to bring them back underneath her and say, now, be good like your brothers and sisters. Several weeks later, the kittens are still small, and the ducks, although independent, still have an attachment to their surrogate mum. So it would seem that this rare coincidence of a cat giving birth just as the ducklings were making their first steps into the world 
resulted in this remarkable situation. Filled with an instinct to mother small furry creatures, the cat ignored any natural urge to eat the ducklings and took them on as her own. Now, it could be argued that all of this only happened because it was a domestic situation with animals that were unusually close to each other. But there are other examples that suggest the mothering instinct is so strong, this can even happen in the wild. A few years ago, the most surprising example of misplaced mothering took place in Kenya. The story of this lioness and oryx has an unhappy ending, but not for the reason you might think. A newborn oryx, surely just minutes from being this lion's next meal. But to the complete amazement of the rangers who were monitoring the situation, the lioness didn't try to eat it. Instead, she cared for it as if it were her own young. Just like the cat with her ducklings, a strong instinct to protect and nurture was overriding the predatory instinct to kill it. Many theories were put forward as to why she was behaving in this way. And the consensus was that she was a young lioness who'd gone through some kind of traumatic experience involving being separated from her pride. And as a result, her mental state had led her to want to nurture this calf in some way. But unfortunately, the relationship came to a sudden end. When the lioness took her eye off the calf for just a few moments, a male lion pounced and killed it. Witnesses described her behavior as exactly that of a lioness who had lost her cubs. Heartbreaking to watch. Everyone thought that was the end of the story. But the lioness went on to adopt not one, but five more oryx calves. Now, none of the relationships lasted as long as the first one, but this continuing fixation points to a traumatized animal, desperate to nurture, even if the young in question isn't her own species. <laughs> 